welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's quick tip, we're going to be working with sheet metal. What we're going to be doing today is creating these mounting plates. Okay. Now, this is a non-standard practice. However, it gets the job done. I came across this when I was working on this uh, sheet metal part for a power supply uh, unit. Okay, let's dive right in. All right, let's start out by creating a new component. Let's create a sketch. Actually, let's back up a second. The new component needs to be a sheet metal component. So let's go to sheet metal, new component. And let's set the sheet metal rule to be stainless steel 0.6. You can set it to whatever you want. I'd actually go into sheet metal rules. I actually have this set up myself. And basically these are the parameters for that one. You can always go in and modify as you see fit. You can modify or you can create a new one. Okay. All right. We'll save that for another episode. All right. Let's get down to business. Let's create a sketch and let's put it on the top plane. Let's use a center rectangle tool. And let's make it 30 millimeters all around. Again, dimension is going to be set in millimeters. Again, document settings. We click this icon right here. Make sure unit type is set to millimeters. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Just use the flange command. Select the profile we just created. And the side, the thickness side is going to be one, obviously. We want it to protrude upward. Okay. Click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and create a sketch on this top face. We we'll use the center rectangle again. And we're going to add some dimensions. So let's make this 12 millimeters. And we'll make this five. Okay. Finish the sketch. And let's go ahead and use the extrude tool. We'll select this top face, we, uh, the top uh, pattern we just created in the sketch. Let's go ahead and select the bottom so it'll go through. Click OK. All right. We could have just clicked all, but again, for the sake of time, we're going to make this as quick as possible. OK. So now here's the tricky part. So what we want to do again is create a flange. We're going to start at this edge here, this edge here. OK. And we're going to dimension it to be four millimeters. Now we want the angle to be 50 degrees. Okay. We want it to be interfaces. Bend position is going to be on the inside. All right. Now we're going to select override rules because we want to get rid of this space right here. Okay. We're going to go down to the second bend relief override rule. Check that. We're going to make this 0.01. We're going to make this 0 0.01. Okay. And that's all we need to change here. All right. Click OK. We're going to use the flange command again. Select the inside edges. Okay. All right. The height, we're not going to set yet. Actually, we're going to go ahead and set it to three. We're going to change the angle to 50. Okay. All right. We don't need to override any rules right now. So we'll just click OK. I'm going to use the extrude command. Actually, before we do it, I'm going to show you something. So what happens is when you try to connect these two, you're going to get a warning. OK, I don't like warnings and I don't like icons to show up, giving me uh, things that non-standard things I don't like looking at. OK, the flanges intersecting the body. Basically, uh, in some cases, when you try to unfold this, it won't work properly because you've basically joined these flanges together. OK. So let's undo that. Let's edit feature and let's change this to three. Okay. Click. Okay. Now let's go ahead and use the extrude command. Select this face and select that face and it'll join itself. And you can see you don't have any warnings. Okay. All right. And let's go back to this part right here. Even though I'm not worried about bending the inside, I still don't like warnings because if this was set up this way, I would be unbending, excuse me, I would be unfolding this side and this side. 
and this side and this side. But I'm not worried about that. However, again, I don't like warnings. All right, back to it. So let's go ahead and use the whole command. Select the top view. And let's take this hole and drag it in the center. Snaps right into place. Okay. And we want the distance to be all. All right. And click OK. All right. There's your mounting plate inside your sheet metal part. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.